I've been struggling to keep up with my engineering coursework for this whole semester. And to make things even worse, I have an exam coming up in 34 days. So I'm literally finished if I don't find a way to catch up. Then I thought, wouldn't it be great if I could understand the coursework easily with minimal effort? Then I remembered that one of my professors used to say that many people think that your IQ is just like your gender. Once you get it, you can't really change it. Well, lately there have been some exceptions though. But anyways, I believe that your IQ is just like your height. You can actually grow it from young till you reach a certain peak when you are at your late teens or early adulthood. Then it's going to be really hard for you to grow from there. But research have suggested that you can actually increase your IQ beyond these ages by doing some cognitive specific training. So let's just try to increase my IQ to a genius level in 15 days. First, I need to take an IQ test and this process is pretty difficult since I do not know which IQ test is actually reliable. I found a few IQ test videos on YouTube but let's just say that they consider everyone as genius level. Many of the IQ tests I found online requires me to pay after I have done the IQ test for one hour. Not gonna lie, it's pretty smart, but I'm not dumb enough to pay for my IQ test. Instead, I bought an app called Mensa IQ Test since it is a pretty standardized IQ test known globally. So as you can see, I got an initial IQ score of around 132 which I'm really happy about, so I forgot to do more tests to actually confirm it. But hey, that time I thought only 8 points to the genius level which is at 140. So if I can just train that, I should be possible to reach the genius level and maybe, maybe I'll be able to think differently. But I was so wrong. These are a few ways that you can increase your IQ. Firstly, it's just to practice more IQ tests and then also learn the mistakes that you made from these IQ tests. Next is to do cognitive-based training games. This is interesting because I have used several mobile apps and also some online programs for this training. The first one I used was the Elevate app, which they have advertised everywhere to me. It is actually a paid subscription app, but I tried their free trial for 7 days and I found out that it is actually more of an English proficiency app rather than actually a cognitive training based app. Then I tried the humanbenchmark.com test, which is actually a fun cognitive based game. I practiced that every day for a few hours, then I stopped since I don't find it effective. I wanted to try increasing my mental maths capability, so I used Zetamac for that, which is actually a really simple tool to do mathematics fast and they try to test you. And many people actually take this test to see how fast they can calculate. And I am actually terrible at that. I find it helpful if you can do maths fast in your brain, since you can recognize and calculate patterns um, in your test. But in general, it is a really useful skill. I also used the 2048 app that is really popular years ago since the best players are able to actually recognize the patterns and get a really high score. So I tried it for a few hours but then I got bored of it. Next is more of a lifestyle base which is exercise regularly. I've been doing that for 3 days a week and almost a year now. I mean it makes sense right if you train and get a bigger body means you have a bigger brain capacity. Okay, after 15 days of hard, blood, sweat and tears of rigorous brain training, I'm finally ready to sit the final test, the test to determine whether I've reached the genius level. Okay, let's see. Let's see how much I get. I think I fucked up on a lot of them on the last question, so... Guess wouldn't be too good. 126, so... <laughs> I actually got lower! Oh my god. So, what happened was I actually managed to solve more questions this time, but the trade-off is that I actually took more time to solve each questions, so... 
I actually didn't manage to finish everything on time. So I guess this is one of the disadvantage of just learning the IQ test directly rather than just learning how to think. Okay, let's get a bit serious. So it, it doesn't mean that it is impossible for you to increase your IQ at all. It is just impossible to do it in 15 days like I do. In fact, we have been increasing our IQ since we are young, like as a baby when we first come to this world. Since when you are a baby, you need to actually learn and recognize patterns every single second so that you can actually identify whatever things that you know right now, like this is a um, rectangle, this is a phone. But as we get older, we need to recognize less patterns since everything is already so normal. That's why they sometimes say that it's important to keep experiencing new things. The way we teenagers or adults can keep increasing your IQ is just basically um, use your head more, think more, don't stop using your brain, keep exercising your brain like a muscle. Although you can't increase like 10 to 15 IQ points, you can at least uh, recognize solve problems better, sometimes even through a lot of experience. Sometimes people think that IQ equals to smart, equals to knowledge in an area. Having a knowledge in one area doesn't mean that you're smart or having a low or high IQ. IQ just really basically means that you can recognize patterns and logic easily. At least that's how I define it. Yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you find it valuable. If not, if not, I'm sorry. This is JJ from Budget Zero and I'll see you in next video. Budget Zero, peace out. Thank you.